Hey yo, it's Koji Radical and you are listening to AU Dollars. Uh, uh, pay back the big pay back. Dark on both sides, the dress coat black. Count my money up, I need my backs. Selling a dream, but Yo, what up, Cash back. Fam? My name is Matthew Craig and you are tuned in to AU Dollars, Australia's Hip Hop Connect. We're an independent grassroots platform and appreciate everything single person who chews into our work please be supporting us by liking this video jumping in the comments sharing and most importantly subscribing to our channel because always we bringing you the biggest best most exciting guests from australia and around the world not only the biggest and the best but the most influential of which my guest today certainly falls in that category he's a rapper spoken word poet art director illustrator he's worked in film he's a graduate of the london school of fashion with first class a three-time MOBO Award nominee, four critically acclaimed, thought-provoking, system-challenging ETs. He's collaborated with the likes of Getz, Mahalia, AJ Tracy, all of which we've spoken to on AU Dollars. Finally, after years in a game, this man of proud Ghanaian origin has just dropped his long-awaited debut direct album, Reason to Smile, and boy, is it stacked. I'm talking features from Masego, Khalees, Rech32, Nux, Rex Live Raj, and more. Hailing from Shoreditch in East London, the one and only Koji Radical. Welcome to AU Dollars, Australia's Hip Hop. Oh, Wagwan, oh, Wagwan, thank you. That was a massive introduction. Save. Bro, light work. Love. <laughs> light work for a man like yourself, bro. How you doing today? Oh, man, appreciate it. I'm not too bad, not too bad. I was just out to dinner, but I thought, got to come out and speak to AUD. Appreciate that, man. We appreciate <laughs> that. Big time. Big time. Bro, let me start at the top. What's your reason to smile today, bro? Today, um, I recorded a banging tune with James Vickery. Oof, oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when that drops, that's going to go crazy. Man's always working, always working. Yeah. How's it feel, bro? Always working. After so long in this game, finally getting that debut album out, it feels like a real statement of arrival for someone who's been in the game forever. <laughs> feels like you're reaching your potential within this incredible body of work. How does it feel? Feels good, man. I, I mean, I can't complain. I think um, ultimately... Just happy to still be, you know, <laughs> that people care. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think in I think in the average lifespan of a career, it's like shit fades out. You know what I'm mm. saying? I think for me, the fact that I can still make music, the fact that people still want to hear it, the fact that it still matters to somebody is is massive to me. And mm. and, and I, do you know what I mean? Like, what more could I ask for, really? Yeah, for real, for real. And I feel that, that that sense of sort of gratitude and just appreciation flows through the project itself. Like there's so many thought-provoking sort of like powerful themes of endowment or, or motivation in there. Um, often you can miss those with just how fun the music is. What was that approach like, bro? Um, space and bass. Space to let the message brief, mm. bass to carry the people through it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And from there, you just it's just it's just palette and canvas. Do you know what I'm saying? You're just using the music to paint the pictures and um, the pictures are being painted with the words and that's it. That's that, that's that's as simple as the formula ever needed to be. Mm, yeah, that's that's incredibly. Uh, what were some of the influences for it? Because there's so many like drawn on different genres, stylistic influences in this here. What were you sort of listening to when you were in, in this creative space and what did the process look like? Ah, uh, what was I listening to? Uh, what was we listening to? We was listening to a lot of Jay-Z, a lot of mm. Pharrell, um, but also just a lot of UK music, you know, yep. like artists that I think are on the come up or up next that, I don't know, that are important to me, you know, mm. um, and inviting them down to the studio. We tried to kind of keep it like that, like whoever yeah. and whatever was the source of inspiration we could um, we can work with and get to. So, mm. um, oh, right. yeah, I'm just doing an interview. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> be love, be love. Um, mm. Koji Radical, bro, you, you're, you're an identity that I, I guess almost swims against the tide of what's going on in music at the moment, bro. There's so much powerful, uplifting, motivating themes. There's a lot of brightness in the stuff that you're touching on compared to a, to a world that is really sort of em, embracing a, a more of a darker narrative, bro. How, how, how is that mm. important to you to be just lone in your identity and so almost authentic in your approach? Do you know what it is, man? It's, 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 it's more effort to be fake. Yeah, yeah. That's it, man. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna write a song and you're mm -hmm. stuck, you got writer's block. You're probably lying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you're lying, then get out of the booth. Yeah. Cut the cap. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it true. 
and everything else will be what it is. We all live in the same world. It's not all it's not all roses. Do you know what I'm saying? But it don't mean that we don't have a good time. And that's yeah. that's all it is. Yeah, that's facts, bro. Bro, how do you find the time to, to do everything that you do? It's just so multi-dimensional, bro, from the fashion. Lord the art, knows. The Look at me. I'm in the streets. That's how I do it. I do it anytime, anywhere, man. And when they call yeah. on me, raise the bat signal when I will appear. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> got you. Got you. Have you got a favorite sort of uh, branch that you work on or is it all just in one big pot? It's all the one big pot, man. It's all one big pot. I think it's all art to me. It's always mm. been art to me. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how important is it to you, I think, at the moment, a, a man of a proud Ghanaian origin to see the sort of rise of not only the diaspora, but you got artists like your Faso out in, in Ghana with, with the drill music that's really doing it on a global scale, bro. It's something you're really proud of that shines through your music. Talk to me about it, a bit about how culture influences what you do. Definitely. I mean, I mean, it's, it's innate. It's, it's, within, with it, it's what's within us, you know what I'm saying? And I think... Um, I think for me, I'm I'm a student of the game when it comes to understanding and what's not what what's really going on in Ghana. I think um, so much. Do you know what I'm saying? So much talent exists everywhere. Uh, like for me, I'm grateful to have people around me like Amare who puts me on. Do you know what I mean? And constantly kind of keeps me in the loop in terms of what's happening on the ground mm-hmm. in Ghana because it's easy to kind of get it, you know, through through the internet or through your phone or whatever. Yeah. But like to be there and to be a part of the culture is something that I'm really missing. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I, and I really want to go back and I really want to just touch base with some of the artists out there mm. and get active again, but in due time. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing you, you're well known for is collaborating with and bring giving artists another artist a leg up. You worked with B-Wise, an Australian artist, a couple of years ago on mm. this project, Jamie. Mm. Tell us a bit mm. about that collaboration. Yeah. I mean, that's my guy, man. I love him. And B-Wise is the one. Um mm. All he had to do is ask. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, all he had to do was ask. I've been a fan of his. I was excited to, to be involved in, in what he had coming up next. And um, and um, it was a lot of it was done throughout the pandemic, you know? So it was a lot of FaceTime calls and a lot of, like, messaging back and forth. But anything he needed, we got it done. So yeah. I'm proud, man. I can't wait. I'm just I'm just upset I haven't had a chance to come to Australia and perform it with him yet. But yeah. soon come, man. I think when we get a chance to do that, it's going to go crazy. Yeah, yeah. What what are your expectations of when that happens coming out here? Listen, whenever they're ready for me, you know. As I said, raise the bat signal, I'm there. Everyone's got to get <laughs> onto the promoters out there, man. Tell them to throw me a little back, I'll come collect it. For real, we're going to have to holler. We're going to have to holler and make that happen, my bro. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the sort of belief system that that underpins everything Koji Radical does. As I said, you're, you're a very powerful outspoken but also subtle in your messaging in how you deliver it through your art what's that belief system or those sort of daily practices that underpins that do you know what more time i'm i'm just living bro like mm. you just everything's a, everything survival isn't it you get it so like more time i'm just i'm just living and i don't i don't think about none of this stuff like i just yeah for real i just put it down as i see it as i live it as i breathe it mm. and and it's received how it's going to be received. My, like my day-to-day lived in experience is going to be completely different to the kid growing up in Zimbabwe or the yeah. kid growing up in, in Budapest or the kid growing up in Paris or the kid growing up in Chicago. Like Everyone's going to have different perspectives and different reasonings for enjoying certain lines and messages. All I could do is give them how, give it to them how I see it. That's mm. all. That's all. There's no, there's no formula to it apart from just keep it real, keep it true. Yeah, have it at the time. Yeah, well said. Well said. And you mentioned there that you're you're a student of the game. What what are some of the best lessons you've learned along this this incredible journey so far? Jesus Christ, save some money. <laughs> <laughs> For real. For that's real. About it. That's the only one I'm at is save your bread. <laughs> mm, yeah. What aside from that, what what advice would you give to an early Koji radical starting this journey? Oh, uh, don't take everything to heart, man. Yeah. You know I'm saying not everyone's meant to get it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, not everyone's meant to get it, and um, and if they don't, oh well. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Just stay in your grind, stay stay where you're going, you know what I'm keep mm-hmm. pushing how you want to push. Like, yeah, yeah, that's real, that's real. And what's next for you, bro? The album's out. Is it hearing? Um, is what, what? Where? Where's the focus now? I right, chilling. Festival season, dessert. Yep. About <laughs> to go. I'm gonna mash up some cheesecake. Let's um, go. But like. 
I don't know, like whatever the world's got next plan for me next. Like right now, I'm on I'm on the festival run tour. We've got mm-hmm. loads of dates in the UK, loads of dates in Europe. Um, we're gonna head over to America soon. We're just missing out in Australia. So as I said, when you guys are ready, just throw me a bag. I'll come collect it. That's all. Yeah, yeah. That's all. That's all. Hold up the promoters right here. Get you out right here linking up, bro. Yeah, bro. stick it on them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, my man, let's slide into it. Let's have a bit of fun. We're going to slide into what we call the money minute. So I'm going to just hit you with some quick questions and you answer me with the first thought that pops in your head, yeah? Mm. All, right. All right, let's go. Money minute with Koji Radical right now. If you could hang out with a cartoon character for a day, who would it be and why? Um, who would it be? Um, uh, Huey, Huey, Huey Freeman. Mm, big, big. From the Boondocks. Uh, your dream collaboration, any artist ever, dead or alive? Three stacks. Yeah, I would, I would, I would pay good money to see that one for real. Yeah. Uh, your, what's the background on your on your cell phone, bro? Your wallpaper. Um, it's an illustrated version of the Reason to Smile cover. Yeah, cool, cool. I expect some shit yeah. like that. Uh, what was the last? Yeah. What was the last movie you watched? The last movie I watched, um, uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Midness. Oh, big. <laughs> uh, least favorite subject in school? No worries, boss. Uh, maths. I hated maths. Did they just kick our mans off the step? Is that what just happened there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's because I'm like, I'm literally in, I'm on road. But it was like, I think I was in someone's apartment or whatever. Are you going carry on? <laughs> You're getting the real out here. You're getting the real out here on $80. dollars um dream yeah, ho- dream holiday destination anywhere in the world dream holiday destination anywhere in the world um uh, uh the, the uh, mexico nice nice uh if the tables are turned and you're in the interview chair who's the first person you're interviewing uh that's a good question you don't want to chat to you maybe rick rubin yeah that'd be big That'd be big. Mm. Uh, who is your first ever celebrity crush? Um, oh, uh, um, uh, what's her name? Stacey Dash. No, not Stacey Dash. It wasn't <laughs> Stacey Dash. It was um, Taraji P. Henson. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah, baby boy. She would have got it. Mm. Gang. <laughs> yeah. uh, and last question. We always ask this one. A bit controversial. Pineapple on pizza. Yes or no? No. Who does that? Nah, I'm not feeling it. Anyways, stop that. Stop. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> my guy. My guy. Bro, I appreciate you making the time today. Go get that cheesecake in, my G. And we'll no see worries. you in Australia. No of that cheesecake. Yeah. Easy. We, we got to look up and get you out to Australia, bro. For real, hey? Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Whenever you're ready. Both sides, the dress code black. Count my money up. I need my money.